Hello and welcome to Dareford Hospital. My name is Kaylee and I'm a midwife here. I'm here today to give you a tour around our maternity unit. We understand that having a baby can be an exciting yet nervous time. We hope that this film will help to give you an insight into what to expect and to help prepare you for the birth of your baby. When you arrive at the maternity unit, this is the closest car park. If you are unable to find a space here, you can use one of the car parks near the main hospital. Please remember to bring plenty of change for parking. During the day, the doors open automatically, but at night you will need to press the bell on the right hand side of the door. This will be answered by our receptionist. This is maternity reception located on level 5 of the hospital. It is open 24 hours a day. It is the only route that you have to access maternity. When you can, please make sure you bring your green pregnancy notes with you. Hi Cynthia. Morning, this is the reception area. You do need to make sure that you report here so that they can check the details on your notes and show you where you need to go next. Wherever you do need to go on the day, this is always going to be the route. When coming into the hospital for your scans and appointments, you'll need to go to antenatal clinic. This is on level six of the hospital, located on the stairs here on the left. You'll find further information regarding this on the antenatal part of the website. For today's purpose, I'm going to show you the route that you need to take when coming in in labour. This is on level four. Come on, follow me. Today we're using the stairs. However, if you are in advanced labour, there is the option of using a lift and we will always send somebody to assist you. When you get to Central Delivery Suite, down here on level four, there are two bells, one for our triage midwife and one for the labour ward. However, don't worry about that when you first arrive. It will always be the triage bell you ring. One of the midwives will then come out to meet you. Hello, my name's Claire. I'm a midwife working in triage today. When you come into triage, we'll assess you and your baby. We'll look at different things that will give us a picture about um, if you're in established labour or not. So we'll look at what your contractions are doing, um, we'll look at your baby's heart rate, just monitor that, and look things like your blood pressure, just to give us an idea w where to go from here. If we find that you're in established labour, then we'll take you down to a delivery suite where you'll have your baby. Or you may find that we'll have a chat with you about the different options for making yourself feel more comfortable whilst you're waiting for labour to establish at home. This is the midwife station in the centre of the labour ward. During your time here you may see lots of different members of staff in different uniform. To find out more information about what these members of staff do, there is a link on the website. This is Emma, one of our coordinators. So Emma, tell me more about the life here on labour ward. OK, well we have 13 labour ward rooms, including a high dependency room and a water birth room. When we arrive here onto the labour ward, we have antenatal patients, we also have labouring women and postnatal ladies. During the time here, you'll be cared for by a midwife. The vast majority of our midwives work 12-hour shifts and that's to help promote continuity of care. However, you may see more than one midwife during your time here on the labour ward. Um, when they arrive um, from the triage area, you'll be welcomed by your midwife and there's always a coordinator like myself here as well. So we have an open visiting policy here on the labour ward. When women have delivered, they either go home straight from the labour ward or they go up to the postnatal ward. Once you are in established labour, you will be taken to one of our delivery rooms by a midwife. In here is all the equipment needed to monitor you and your baby. Once you are in established labour, we encourage you to continue using those pain relief methods you were using whilst at home. Now that you're in the hospital, you have the option of using gas and air and also the use of the birthing pool. That's a nice normal heart rate there. The benefits of women having a water birth is that it drastically reduces the need for further analgesia such as epidural. We know that women that have water births are more likely to labour better and have a normal delivery. Most women will have their baby here on the labour ward, but sometimes it's necessary to go to theatre to deliver your baby and you will meet a different team of people. Hello, I'm one of the team. I'm Paul Youngs, I'm a consultant anaesthetist and I work both in theatre and also on labour ward. On labour ward, uh, we provide an epidural service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, some ladies need to come through to theatre to have their baby, uh, and I'd like to show you, it's only a short walk from uh, labour ward. 
And uh, I'll show you, well, we've got the recovery room here, and that's where you'll go after you have your baby. But I want to show you theatre because, so you know what it looks like if you have to come down and join us. We have, uh, obviously, a theatre table, but we have, uh, at the top end, a few things for your baby. There's a stool there for your birthing partner if you're awake for your delivery. Once you have delivered your baby, there's three different things that could happen next. If you and your baby are well, you could go straight home. However, you and your baby may need additional care, so you could go to either Argyle Ward or the Transitional Care Ward. Hello and welcome to Argyle Ward. My name's Bobby McQuinney and I'm the ward manager. Whilst you're here, you'll be cared for by midwives and maternity care assistants. We also have some domestic staff who are here to tend to giving you refreshments and meals should you require them. Your partner is welcome to visit at any time between 8 o'clock in the morning and 7 o'clock at night. Uh, friends and family, we look forward to meeting them between 4 o'clock in the evening and 7 o'clock. We would prefer it, if you possibly can, if you would keep your curtains open most of the time. This helps us because then we can actually engage with you and your baby and recognise when perhaps you might need and benefit from some help. If you come here, we really look forward to seeing you then. Some babies may need a little extra care and will be transferred to the Transitional Care Ward on Level 5. This is Jackie, a midwife and ward manager on Transitional Care Ward. So Jackie, why would mothers and babies come here rather than Argyle Ward? Babies who are born too early or too small, up to six weeks before their due date, would come here. Obviously, the reason for coming here is the baby rather than the mother. So if the mother is fit and well, we would expect that she would normally go home. But in this case, on this ward, she can stay and help to care for her baby. Thank you very much. And this is Kelly. Kelly, what care would babies expect to receive here? I work as part of a team of nursery nurses on the transitional care ward who work alongside each other during the day and night to provide extra care and support for babies who need extra monitoring. I work alongside mums to help establish feeding and to keep babies warm as we know this will get them home a lot quicker. If your baby is born prematurely or has any complications, it may come to our neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU for short. Hi, my name is Giles Richardson. I'm one of the consultant neonatologists uh, based here at Derriford Hospital, working on the regional neonatal intensive care unit. Uh, we are a very busy unit uh, that looks after up to 800 babies a year. Uh, we will cater for every need for term infants and preterm infants who may be born as early as 24 weeks gestation of pregnancy. In addition to all the uh, care that we offer the babies here in Plymouth, uh, our regional uh, remit is that we will take the smallest and most vulnerable infants from around the whole of the peninsula. We also operate a regional neonatal transport service uh, and that undertakes over 360 moves a year, moving babies around the region and up to Bristol for surgery should they require it. We are very happy for parents to be visiting their babies almost 24 hours a day should they wish to do so. Uh, we have a number of uh, beds where parents are able to stay near to their babies, either uh, as an inpatient or even after mums and dads have gone home, we have some parent rooms uh, with local amenities where they're able to be near their infants at a time of need. So that's the end of our tour of the maternity unit. We hope it's answered some of your questions. Mum, Dad and baby Alice are off home now, but for them and you, the care doesn't end once you leave us. There is lots of support in the community. You can find out more information about this on our website. But for now, goodbye.